everybody welcome back to the channel nice to see you again today we've got some things these have just arrived i must admit i had completely forgotten about them until i got an email yesterday to say that they were turning up yesterday they didn't turn up until today thankfully so me and my little doggy friends were a little bit surprised when they did but they're here nevertheless you may have heard me talk about these in the past i, I was going to do some new tanks for the fish room to replace some of the older tanks that were a bit higgledy piggledy uh, and these are all from NACD, an aquarium manufacturer um, here in the UK. Um, I think they've done me a fantastic deal. I, I didn't ask for them for free or anything like that, but they have done me a fantastic deal. Uh, and from the little cursory glance I've given them all, I'm more than happy to give them a shout out. But we'll take a little bit of a look at them in a minute, but let's just have a look and see where they're going to go. So the most obvious one is the bigger tank is going to go here. I've been talking about this for months. This is where Humphrey's tank is going to go. Humphrey being my flower horn, my two-tone camper flower horn. Um, so he's got this big space down here all ready to himself. I'm thinking at first we'll probably go with a bare bottom tank with minimal or no decoration. Just some sponge filters which I've kept in this tank to keep them cycled. I'm not sure whether I'll keep it like that, so I may ask you guys to chip in with some suggestions on that one. But yes, that was that's where the big tank will go. And then there was four other tanks which are going to replace this, which is my angel tank. Um, this is the tank which you may have seen before. It's kind of patched together and held together with more hope and crossed fingers than it is any structural rigidity. But the angels in there, I'm sure you'll agree, are looking fantastic. So they are going to take the tank that Humphrey gets. And then in here will be four individual tanks. So as I can get more fish in. And there's the rub, really. Uh, if you've been watching any of my live streams, I do live streams most Friday evenings, if you're interested. I've been talking about moving house. So although I kind of knew I'd ordered these, I kind of forgot about it because it was a few months ago. I don't really want to be getting more fish at the moment because that just makes it harder and harder to move house. So what we might end up doing is moving these three tanks uh, into storage. Or another thing I've been thinking of doing is renting a place and using that as a bit of a fish room annex, if you like. So whether it's a garage, a workshop, an office, something like that, where I can move all these tanks into that place, start to move the fish out of my fish room into that place, keep them there for a while, use that as a little bit of a YouTube studio, do some setups and some nice projects there, move house, and then I can move them back into my own home fish room later down the line. What do you think of that idea? It's, it's kind of all consuming at the moment, but how do I move this fish room? But anyway, I'm not gonna do anything with these right now. So in this video, these tanks here are just gonna go into storage. In terms of showing you them, they are plain basic tanks. They are sized to meet the dimensions of that rack so as they can go end on and maximize the amount of space. So they're 70 centimeters long, 30 centimeters wide, and 40 centimeters deep. Um, one of the good things about the NACD company is they always give you this little tank mat. Because these are just glass tanks little mat that you can put down on the surface of your stand or your table or wherever you're putting them and then any little bits of grit or anything like that that won't cause any failures on your tank so they come with these almost all the tanks that I've seen them advertise either on their website or on eBay you see them quite a lot they all come with sliders and I cannot emphasize much how useful sliders are for years I've made my own lids and just having sliders makes things so much easier um, so these just kind of sit on there. You have two panes of glass and you slide them open. So I've got three of these, identical, absolutely perfect. They're not anything fancy. I don't think they're low iron glass or anything like that. The manufacturing quality is very high. You'll have noticed the little tanks that I keep my endlers in at the moment, they're the ones I already had from this company. So I knew they were going to be good tanks when I got them and that's why I chose them. Um, but yeah, absolutely perfect for a fish room. Absolutely perfect for any kind of aquarium needs, really. This would look good anywhere. Obviously, these are just the kind of basic tanks. No lids, no nothing like that, other than the sliders. But that's all I wanted for a fish room. They're perfect for that. The big one over here, same idea, same construction. 
it's also oh, also comes with a mat to go down. I have polystyrene, so I probably don't need these, but I could use them anyway. Mat, runner and sliders all works the same way. This particular one is 100 by 50 by 40. Um, and that just fits in that perfect space that I've got in the fish room. And that'll be Humphrey's tank, absolutely perfect. Ooh. I might have to wait until someone comes home to help me get it in there though. Hmm, we'll do some YouTube magic and it'll appear in there in a minute, just like this. Ta-da! As if by magic, it's in there. Like a glove, if I do say so myself. Look at that, you couldn't get a gnat's ball here in there. Same on this side, absolutely perfect. So, really happy with that. Thank you to my son Alistair for helping me manhandle this into place. I'm not going to drill this one, look how thick the glass is as well. This is the tank I drilled in my drilling a tank video. So it's an extra bit thick there. Um, because obviously I'm hoping to move at some point, so I might not want to drill it or have it in that configuration. Um, but yeah, that's fine. We'll get that set up, we'll get it filled up. Got the sponge filters already in this tank, keeping them seeded. We've got the light underneath, just a little LED light. And the night crew ones that I like so much. Get it filled up, get it up to temperature, and we'll move Humphrey down. There we go, we're all filled up now. So we've filled up the tank, we've got up to temperature, I've moved the filters over, I've added the sliders. Um, top tip for anyone, sliders do a fantastic job at speeding up the heating process. So they really do keep the heat in. If you put a lid on an aquarium, it's really good for keeping the heat in and helps you build up the heat faster as well. So we're good to go, I think. So I'll just let you have a little look. Quite a basic setup for now. I, like I say, I'm not fully decided on what I want this to look like eventually and we might be moving house soon. So it might not be the best idea to invest too much time in getting this looking a certain way. So I've not drilled it. We're doing manual water changes on this one. Um, we've gone for two large sponge filters, one on either side and the heater. That's the only things that are in the tank. But because it's in my fish room, it's dead easy to do water changes in here. Um, a lot more space, so the footprint is longer than the tank that Humphrey's in at the moment, which is a squarer tank. Um, not much more volume, but I think it's just a better layout for him so you can zoom back and forward. I don't know whether I want to put in any decorations or not, so I'm going to try them for a little while, but I'm interested to hear your comments, whether you think I should put in some wood or some sand or some gravel or whatever you think there should be in there. He does like to dig around, I've noticed, so maybe some substrate isn't a bad idea, but we'll see how he gets on. Um, so I'm just going to go up and get them. I'm going to grab a bucket, fill it up, bring them down and plop them in. The water's up to the same temperature as it is upstairs, so we're ready to go. Let's go and get him. So I managed not to press the record button for me putting them from the bucket into the tank. But as you can see, it went swimmingly, literally. I may as well have gone swimming with them. Um, he's in there, he's doing a bit of patrolling, he's looking fine, doesn't seem any worse for wear for his little move. But yeah, I'm a bit drenched. Uh, so leave him to settle in for a little while and we'll come back and have a look at him. I'll go and find a towel. So in terms of food for Humphrey, I use one of these um, reusable tubs full of different types of food. So I've got a bit of a mix. So these tubs, I sell these on my website. This is a prototype version, but I've just introduced a new size as well. So you've got big ones like this and smaller ones that are kind of half the size of this, which fit better in cabinets and things like that, people tell me. Um, but I use this full of different things like Fluval Bug Bites, um, Hikari Cichlid Gold, they're kind of staples that I always use. And then I've got all these foods from um, my good friend across the pond, Michael from Michael's Fish Room, sent me all these Excalibur foods. So I've got Mass Effect, Intense Shreds, um, Excalibur Premium, what's this one? Diamond Dust. So all meant to do various different things for the flower horn, like accentuate the pearling or accentuate the cock. But I'll have a bit of cock accentuation. Um, and what I tend to do is I'll feed him a couple of times a day by just taking out oop, a little pinch, some different size pellets and see if he goes for it basically. And he's always been a voracious eater. Whether or not he's a bit stressed out at the moment because I've just moved him in here and whether he'll eat is another question, but he looks all right. 
Um, he certainly is, I was about to say he's coming up to the window to say hello there. Come out to the front glass to say hello. So I'll put in a couple and see if he eats. I'll let you have a look too. So eventually I will train him because the, the feeding hole, if you like, is up at this end. So you'll learn to come up to here and we'll play games and things like that to keep him active and interested. But I'll just stick in a couple at the moment. See if he goes for them. Because I haven't actually fed him today, knowing that I was going to move him. And just because he's on camera, he's not going to eat them. I think he's still in figuring out his new home mode. But as you can see, he's not darkened down or anything like that. There you go, he's going to go up and have a little bit of a, a munch. I can't believe we've already got duckweed in this tank. I'm hoping he's going to take care of that for me as well. No, just tasting that one to spit it back out again. He's a pretty awesome fish. He is one of my more lively interactive fish. He will play with me. Um, we'll play chase in the tank and then like that with the sponge. Play hide and seek with me when I'm working in the office. So now that he's down here, whenever I'm messing around with my fish tanks, he can be in here and I can play with him all the more often. He's going to be a bit of a star of the fish room, I think. So he is a two-tone camphor, which you can kind of see at the moment, his colours. It's kind of red at the front, yellowing to the back and the, the bottom half. Um, he has got an issue with one of his gills, so his left gill has a little bit of girl curl, which is girl curl, has a little bit of gill curl, which he's had ever since I've had him. He came with it. Doesn't affect him and his health in general, it's just an aesthetic thing. Um, so he's just a little bit special. But he's my awesome little guy. So we'll leave him in it's there to settle in. We'll come back and revisit this, no doubt, in the future. As, as I said earlier, we've got more tanks to move around, do a bit of a reshuffle in the fish room. I just thought I'd show you this one. Humphrey in his new home. As ever, if you haven't already done so, click that subscribe button. It all really helps me out. Makes me feel loved and all that. Uh, we do live streams most Fridays, so if you want to ask any questions or give me any comments come along join usually about nine o'clock on a friday uk time but other than that we'll leave it there and we'll see you next time bye